Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of the bi-weekly wishlist or washout. My mask was falling off right around here. If you're new to the channel or if you have not seen the series before, what I do is every other Wednesday go through all the new makeup releases that I see around Instagram and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wish list or everything. Everything's a total washout. Looking a bit different today. <laughs> I actually just literally got back from a fun girls weekend with my best friend Brooke. I, I was so glad to be able to see her and spend some time with her before things get really crazy for the rest of the year so I'm really happy I was able to spend just a few days with her and today I have the day off still so I'm giving myself a little TLC I've been breaking out a bit actually it's almost that time of the month so I'm doing a face mask this is from Lush this is the Brazen Honey face mask it's my favorite I love it and I really tend to focus it where I tend to get the most breakouts because this works wonders on my breakouts Seriously. I thought about double masking and putting a different mask here, but I'm feeling a bit lazy. So I think after this, I'm going to do like a sheet mask because I love sheet masks. I thought about wearing a sheet mask for this, but I can't talk while wearing a sheet mask that well. Before we jump in, I do have some updates. So I finally, finally, finally picked up a palette from Ace Beauté to try out. One of the indie brands I really wanted to try out in 2019. I got the Oceanic palette and this literally was waiting for me on my doorstep as I got home today from my trip. Whew. It's gorgeous. I have not dipped it. I haven't even swatched this thing yet. So I'm going to do a full thorough test on this. An idea I've been batting around in my head. Eyeshadow palette reviews tend to take me the longest to film and edit and they don't really do that well on YouTube. So I was thinking of actually moving those to my Instagram maybe mentioning them in stories as I'm testing them out, and then doing a full post or several pictures along with looks, swatches, and everything as an Instagram post and full review in the caption as opposed to doing them on YouTube. So I'm thinking about doing that, maybe starting with some of the palettes I've been meaning to review, like the new ABH ones, the, um, what was that special edition one that came out? Alyssa Edwards, the Alyssa Edwards palette, with this palette, with a few other palettes. I was thinking of moving that over to Instagram. So I'll throw a poll up and also let me know in the comments below, would you guys like to see those kind of more in-depth palette reviews on Instagram? Also, shameless plug for my Instagram here. Make sure you follow me. I'm definitely a lot more active on Instagram stories. I show sneak peeks of some of my panning projects. I tell you about my day. I take some cute pictures. It's fun. Join me on there. DM me. People tag me and we have really cool conversations about upcoming makeup releases. So why don't you just scoot on over the Instagram and, and follow. I think I mentioned this in one of my other videos, but Kylie Cosmetics, the concealer and the loose powder are now available at Ulta. I forgot to like set my alarm for when this was available so I didn't buy anything yet but I really want to see about getting my favorite concealer which is this one in a shade that works for me because the shade I have right now is too dark actually I did go outside a little bit this weekend <laughs> one day I'm hoping that I'm tan enough that I can now use that concealer because it's I'm still like pale but that shade wasn't really that dark either so the goal is to get a little bit of sun so that I, I don't look pale as hell. I just realized I never turned my ring light on. Do we look a little better? I just went for how long without my ring light on. Ooh, it's been a while since I filmed. So ColourPop will pretty much collab with anything and anyone. Not, a, not a, like it's a bad thing, but they came out with a collaboration with like ice cream Nash yeah halo top creamery for national ice cream month the packaging is really cute but they're just super shock shadows put together and i don't reach for super shock super super i don't reach for super shock shadows as it is and i can't buy any more of those so cute idea not gonna get it so this is actually something i was considering buying until i saw someone unbox theirs on instagram and i was like whoa that's way too big this is the paint eyeshadow palette by glam light and i thought this was so cute the way it looks like an artist's kind of palette and it's got the hole so you could theoretically hold it like that too but i don't know what i was expecting i thought it would be like this big i don't know like a little bit bigger than this ace like two of the ace butes put together it's kind of what i thought this thing is gigantic this thing is like bigger than a regular morphe palette <laughs> it's huge so once i saw that i was like i'm not gonna be able to store that i'm not gonna use that 
it would just be like a display piece. And so uh, while it is very pretty, I wouldn't use that. I would never reach for it. So I'm gonna have to pass. So I think I mentioned this before. I honestly can't remember. Essence is also collabing with Pac-Man for a Pac-Man line. I just love this packaging. I'm a huge Pac-Man fan. Whenever we go to Barcade, I love Pac-Man. We always play it. I think it's so cute. And actually, I just picked up some new, well, not new, but newer palettes from Essence that I really want to try out. So while I was visiting my friend Brooke, we went to an Ulta nearby her, and the selection for drugstore was a lot better. You know, Ulta's can vary location to location, but from Essence, I picked up two eyeshadow palettes. This is the Spice Up Your Life palette, which is a very fall-focused palette. I, I can't wait for fall to be here. I'm kind of sick of summer already. But I also picked up this Crystal Iced palette because... Ooh. Yes. <laughs> oh, so I cannot wait to dip into these, especially the greens and the blues up on top. Um, these were both like $9.99 at that Ulta. And I've heard like really good things. People have messaged me on Instagram telling me that they really enjoy this formula and like the palette. So I cannot wait to dig in. And if anything in this collection is along the same quality, I'd really be excited to try it out too. I think there's like an eyeshadow palette, there's like a blush palette, and I think they've got like single highlights. So Ofra is coming out with a summer collection. It's like a face palette, a blush, and some liquid lipsticks. I honestly haven't tried anything from Ofra in a long time. I think I got a couple highlights in like BoxyCharm back when I used to have BoxyCharm, but I've never gone out of my way to actually try an Ofra product. Well, editing Monica here, yeah, I'm a bit of a dork in this because I clearly just bought this Ofra liquid lipstick. I did get the black liquid lipstick, so this is in the shade The Bronx. I'm testing it out for my black lipstick video, so I don't know what Monica in this video was thinking. She just wasn't. She was, it was early. No, not even early. This was in the afternoon. She had a long day. But yeah, other than this liquid lipstick, I haven't really tried any Ofra products since the highlighters I got in my boxy charms. The blush and the face palette are just kind of like meh, but I am interested overall in their liquid lipstick formula. I wanted to give an update on this collab from Catrice Cosmetics with Eman. Em Emin? Ooh. So it's an eyeshadow palette, a highlighter palette, and a blush palette from Catrice, and it's available at Ulta. I saw these in person, and ooh, I, they, they weren't really that tempting. Uh, I think they look, they look better in the photos than they do in real life. I'm definitely more reserved now when it comes to blushes, now that I know how long it takes to get through a blush. It would take me a lot to buy a new blush at this point. For the highlighter palette, almost all the shades were too dark for me to use, except for maybe that white one. And the eyeshadow palette is just kind of like your everyday neutral palette. I never got on board with the whole like jelly highlighter craze. I'm not a fan of like a liquid or a jelly highlight. I like a good old powder highlight. Um, so I never got on board with the jelly highlight thing, and it looks like Maybelline is jumping on a little bit late with their uh, jelly highlights. Not really interested. So this I was actually pretty tempted by. This is from Natasha Denona, and it is a mini duo of liquid eyeshadows. These are the Chroma Crystal liquid eyeshadows, and it comes with two shades, which are like black and silver, and it's called, the two shades are called Disco and Space. And it's a limited edition duo, so you get two of those minis, it's $25. I love the Stila Glitter and Glows. Actually, who was it? Um, a YouTuber I really like just posted a video not too long ago about a line from Stila in the Glitter and Glow formula that is being discontinued. And I saw that video and I went and immediately bought three of them because they were on sale for $9 each. Normally these things are $24. So I bought those just because I know I like the formula and I'm actually kind of sad that those certain ones, I think it was like the duochrome ones in particular that are being discontinued. But I, that's my favorite way of using like a glitter shadow is when it's liquid and it's got the doe foot and you put it on like that so this is what this looks like i don't think i would ever buy a full size of this from natasha denona knowing the price point but this mini set is like just checking off all my boxes <laughs> the only thing is that i can see myself using the silver what am i going to use a black liquid shadow unless it's a smoky look one how often do i do that dramatic of a smoky look but i'm very tempted by this 
So I see here that Sugar Pill has come out with four new eyeshadow colors of their singles. I have been dying to try out Sugar Pill shadows. I just haven't taken the plunge because I know I'm not going to pick up one or two singles. If I'm going to buy from Sugar Pill, I'm going to do the create my own palette, like the 12 pan palette, because I know I'm not going to reach for singles. I suck at reaching for singles, so I'll need to create a palette. Um, I was actually pretty tempted by these shades. They're nice pastel looking colors, especially Arsenic, Hypnotic, and Tokyo. I don't know if I'd use that purple color that much, but those three were actually like pretty calling to me. All right, so an update from ColourPop. They did another release drop, whatever, in 48 hours. So the new palette is the orange palette. <laughs> okay, so it's editing Monica again. I just, I couldn't leave this unsaid. I filmed this video Monday afternoon, okay? Monday afternoon. I am editing this Tuesday night. And at the time I had filmed this, this was the newest ColourPop palette, right? But since, there's literally been two full collection releases. And it's not, I don't think it's another, like, monochrome palette, but there's a whole nother palette and a whole nother collection out. The only thing I've actually, like, really bought from ColourPop over the past few months have been these nine pan palettes. But Jesus Christ, if this is not everything kind of wrong with consumerism in the beauty community, like, it's the reason, this is the reason why I have enough footage to film this every week if I had the time to, but every other week is more than enough. Colourpop, give us a break. I went a little bit off the deep end, and when I went to buy this palette, I also picked up the blue palette, and I picked up the red palette. So like the watermelon, the blue, and I got the orange because I know they're, <sighs> A, I just really wanted them. And I know, I think I talked some shit about the watermelon one when it first came out. So I want to test it out, try it, see it in person, see if I eat my words a bit. Cause I'm not afraid to admit something is good if I talk mad shit about it and then try it out. Actually, I've done a whole video about that, about makeup I was upset I liked because I talked trash about it at first. If you want to see that, I'll throw it up in the cards. But I just love the whole idea that they're doing with these monochromatic shades. I think once they run out of colors, I wonder what they're going to do. Because I think they've got a great thing going with these nine pan palettes. So I wonder, are they going to go back to doing big palettes? Are they going to stay in the nine pan palettes? What are they going to do? But anyway, I've got the orange one, the blue one, and the red one on the way. Uh, and also... Don't forget, let me know down below if you would like to see some more in-depth palette reviews on Instagram. Ugh! So this, okay. <laughs> I don't know what that noise was. I just got excited. ABH is coming out with a liquid liner. I've been on a big ABH kick this year, though I haven't been using eyeliner that much, like liquid eyeliner to like do a cat eye or anything, but I would be willing to pick this up and try it out. It's going to be 18 bucks. It's, that's standard for like a mid-range liquid eyeliner so i don't pick it up i don't know exactly when but i will eventually be picking this up so i love the idea of natasha denona doing these mini palettes i think it's a great way to get this formula into the hands of more people that want to try it out but can't afford the expensive natasha denona price tag what i've got an issue with this one is that this is called the coral palette, right? Right. It's got like one and a half coral shades in here. And I can only tell that from the swatch too. Like looking at it, there's like one coral shade. But when you see them swatched out, you see that last one looks kind of corally too. But why call this a coral palette if that's the only thing? Like I actually was thinking of picking this up, but I saw it and I saw it, the swatches and I saw it in person. And I'm like, oh, there's only one coral. <laughs> Coral. Uh, stop me. You know what? I keep forgetting that Kat Von D, like, as a brand, still exists. It shouldn't. It's the longest an unvaccinated kid has lived for. So Carly Bible is doing a collab with Il Maquillage, which is a brand I haven't tried anything from, and their lipsticks. And at first, I thought that they were liquid lipsticks, and I was kind of interested, but they're all bullet lipsticks. As someone who barely reaches for bullet lipsticks, I wouldn't really get much use out of these. But I think it's a really cool, like, idea. Congrats to Carly for getting that collaboration. Honestly, everything looks stunning. I just am not the bullet lipstick kind of gal. 
So Milk Makeup is coming out with a new Kush product, and this is the Lash and Brow Serum. As someone who removes more hair than average, what I'm trying to say, I have a lot of hair, so I've never felt the need to get any kind of like lash growing or hair growing serum or type product in my routine because I've never needed it. I spend most of my time removing stray hairs, right? Right. So I've never felt the need for this. Um, I don't know if this actually works because that's the issue of like a lot of these products. They take long to actually start working. So you never really know if they actually work. So let me know down below if you've ever tried out any kind of serum product and whether or not it's actually worked for you. Okay, so um, I don't support, uh, what's, what's his name? Manny. I don't support Manny and I've never bought anything from his brand and I don't plan to, but I just wanted to talk about this palette. Why does this palette look like a hot mess? I don't even know like what they're trying to go for here. <laughs> It's, oh, I can't even call it neutral with a pop of blue because it's got a random green shimmer. Nothing about this is cohesive. I don't get it. And the swatches make even less sense. Yeah, it's a no. Oh no, my nose is getting all itchy. I gotta wash this off soon. Okay, actually, you know what? I need to wash this off. I'm getting very dry, so I will be right back. All right, and we're back. Oh, feeling a lot smoother. <laughs> so this palette actually looks pretty pretty, but I don't pretty pretty. Jesus. I don't know if I'll pick it up just because I don't reach for purples, but I really want to support this collab. So it looks like this is Juvia's Place Places first collab. So they collabed with Fumi. I want to say her name right. So she is a social media influencer and it's a full collection, which is pretty cool. Not just an eyeshadow palette. It's an eyeshadow palette. It looks like a gloss and... Oh, it's just two glosses. I thought one was a lipstick and one was a gloss, but they're they're both glosses. The palette is like a mini-ish kind of palette. It's got six shades and it's really pretty. The only thing is I wouldn't use that purple because I, I don't really reach for purple, but I love the rest of the palette. It looks really pretty. I think I want to pick this up. I don't know if this is limited edition. I hope this sticks around for a bit, especially considering it's also their first collab. It looks like it's not even available yet. It's not coming out until July 31st, so the day this goes up. <laughs> but uh, I want to pick this up. I just don't know if I'll be able to, to pick it up right away. Something tells me this might sell out. We'll see. I talked about a few weeks ago, Makeup Revolution coming out with their own like affordable skincare line. This is the new product in that line. It looks like these are a bunch of toners or tonics. One is a rose tonic, one is a caffeine tonic, and one is a CBD tonic. Uh, the rose is supposed to be restoring with vitamin E extract. The caffeine is supposed to be energizing with witch hazel. And the CBD is supposed to be nourishing with tea tree extract. Tea tree works really well with my skin, especially when I'm breaking out. <laughs> so I would be interested in picking up, honestly, all three. But like, if I'm being realistic, it would either be the CBD or the caffeine one. Maybe not the caffeine one, because I do currently use a caffeine serum around my eyes. So I'd probably do the CBD one, just to see how that works as a toner. I don't see a price on here, but going by the rest of their brands, something tells me it's going to be fairly affordable. I just hope these are available in store at Ulta because I really want to go in and pick up like a bunch of these products at once from Ulta. I think this is a Walmart exclusive, but it looks like Cody Airspun is coming out with a new product and it is a loose highlighter. I have talked about and used their loose face powder for baking and basically for everything all over my face. I think it is very affordable and it's a great product. The only downside is that their shade range is pretty shitty when it comes to that. But I actually really enjoy that product and I think it's a great value for what you're getting. It's really affordable. I have never been one to really use loose highlights. I like a good old pressed powder highlight. I have got a few loose highlighters. I've decluttered a few loose highlighters. I think it's great if you can find a shade that you really like and it's going to be like your everyday go-to because it's really like a value size. It's going to stretch and go for a long time. <laughs> A long time. I just find them a bit too messy and I personally prefer just pressed powder formulas but I think if you're on a budget and you can find a shade out of these three that would work for you it would last a long time. I can't 100% speak to the formula of this because I've never tried it but based on their other loose powder that I've tried I think it'd be worth a shot if you're interested and you like a loose highlight. So Juvia's Place looks like they're coming out with contour sticks. 
I wonder if they're also gonna be highlight sticks. I don't know if these would work for me. The foundation and the concealer really didn't work for me and my skin. I wonder if this is gonna be like a totally different formula. I think I'd be willing to test this out. I would like to see them come out of duos of like a highlighter and a contour, but I'd be willing to test this out because knowing their brand, odds are it's gonna be fairly affordable. So I'm interested. So moving over to Indie Makeup Spotlight, I wanted to point out this video. This is from Bombshell Cosmetica, and I was actually tagged in this. And these screens, ugh, do me in with a good green. I don't think this has been like announced or released. I think these are just them developing new shades and they happen to like swatch all these green ones together. Oh, this is gorgeous. If this was a palette, I'd buy it in a heartbeat, but I don't think that's what these are. Uh, this was posted July 20th and it says developing new formulas and products is so difficult and challenging but we enjoy every single step along the way. We are working on new formulas, new concepts, and never before seen packaging and over-the-top color schemes. Cooking so much for you guys and you are not ready for the things we are about to drop. Can't wait for you guys to see stores that will carry Bombshell Cosmetica. So I've never tried this brand out but they've got me intrigued. Hello, it is your girl editing Monica back here again. You're hearing a lot of me in this video because mm. this video is kind of a hot mess. But literally the minute I stopped filming, this got dropped, not dropped, it got peaked. I don't know. Ugh, it got, it's not out yet, but the, the it was announced. That's the word I'm trying to figure out. This was announced. This is a new foundation from ABH. This is a luminous foundation that's going to drop. It's going to have 50 shades. It's going to be medium coverage with a natural finish. And I don't know how this is going to work in the summer with it being a dewy foundation, but I'm picking this up like 100%. I'm going to go get shade matched and actually try this because I'm excited. As far as I know, I believe this is ABH's first foundation. So this is huge. I can't wait to try this out definitely happening. Okay, and I think I'm gonna leave it at that for this week. I'm not sure if I really missed a whole bunch. If there's anything that I missed that you want me to react to, let me know down below. And also, I'm gonna plug it again. Follow me on Instagram. Tag me in these things. I love getting tagged. I love talking to you guys about new releases and what you guys think about what's coming up. And then I can also include them in these BWOWs. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like this series and you like this channel and you want to see this series continue on a bi-weekly basis. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.